God mm -hmm. is doing right here. All by faith. All you need is faith and connect to this service. And the God of our Father will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We still have so many people. Amen. You can hear their testimonies. Obviously, their hearts are open to yes. receive from the God of Papa Joshua Igila. Amen. Expectations, desires. We still want to hear from so many of them what Amen. they look out for in today's service. Amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome, sir. Good to have you. Good to have you. You're highly welcome, sir. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Ivan Shihal. I am from Mozambique. Mozambique. So is this your first time visiting the city of Wonders? Yes, ma'am. It's my first time, but not the last. Wow. I really love what he just said. It's his first time, but it certainly won't be the last. So how has your experience been, you know, dwelling in such a prophetic atmosphere? Well, as the name says, this is a, a seed of wonders. So my experience has been wonderful. It's been wonders above wonders. Yeah. We thank God for your life, sir. Today is day one of our Ebenezer program celebrating 17 years. What are your prayers for the ministry of Papa Joshua Igila? I pray over the ministry for fresh oil, uh, fresh fire, fresh unction to function. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. We appreciate your time. Do have a wonderful service. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Glory be to Jesus. Good evening, sir. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? My name is Apostle Nelson Nyambe, coming from Mozambique, Maputo. Wow. Amen. Another fellow Mozambican, all the way from the southern region. You are highly welcome, sir. Can you share with the viewers at home your experience of being at the City of Wonders? How are you feeling? First of all, I would like to say that to be here, it's a, a dream. Uh, I, I, I couldn't imagine that I should be here in this time. So my experience, it's very wonderful. I'm in the seat of the world. I'm in the same atmosphere with Papa Ororo Master. It's a privilege to me. Wow. Glory be to Jesus, sir. Can you invite your fellow Mozambicans in Portuguese? Yes, just take chance of it next year we need a lot of people to follow us to be here the experience is totally different and then i can guarantee you your life will never be the same again papa ororo it's not a human being it's a spiritual one just come and we we'll love it amen wow. sir i would like you to say that in portuguese okay Gostava de convidar a todos os nossos moçambicanos para vir aqui à Cidade das Maravilhas e tenho certeza que vossa experiência, vossa vida nunca mais será a mesma porque Papá Ororo Mazda não é um ser humano, ele é um ser espiritual e vocês vão confirmar quando aqui chegar. Ah, Ivan, thank you, sir. Have a wonderful service, Ivan. Wow. God is doing mighty things in the midst of Indeed. his people. Amen. I want to tell you viewers across the nations of the earth, this is truly a prophetic time. We move to the Overcomers Prevailing Evangelical Ministry and right now this is Champions Royal Assembly and we are celebrating 17 years of God's faithfulness. The atmosphere is charged up, people are ready. The God of our Father is set to reach out to everyone at the point of their needs. Right about now here at Champions Royal Assembly, we still have so many that want to share with us. Hallelujah. You're welcome sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good to have you. You're highly welcome. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from? My name is Celeste Hu. I come from Mozambique, Maputo. Mozambique, Maputo. Wow. Ma'am, is this your first time visiting the City of Wonders? Yes, it must. It, wow. So how has it been? Wonderful. Just amazing. <laughs> And God has granted you the grace to be a part of our Ebenezer 17 year anniversary celebration. What do you look out for in today's service? Um, I hope to be filled by the Holy Ghost. 
and uh, I do believe that I will, I will be prophesied by the man of God. Amen. I see you're ready and you have faith to receive a prophetic word from our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Igela. So finally, I would like for you to greet the fellow Mozambicans and encourage them to keep watching Champions TV. Uh, can I? Moçambique. São todos convidados a vir para cá, no lugar de extrema maravilha. Venham, venham, venham e vamos glorificar o nosso Deus. Thank you so much, Ma. Enjoy the rest of the service. Thank you. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Good evening, Highly welcome. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? My name is Prophet Kamal. I come from Mozambique. Amen. All the way from Mozambique. You are highly, highly welcome, sir. So today is the first day of the program and we're, our father is celebrating 17 years of Champions Royal Assembly. And as we're celebrating, we know that the God of our father is about to do something in your life. What are you expecting God to do for you? Uh, in the presence of God, in the presence of prophet, everything can happen in any moment and uh, I expect to, to be touched by God and to receive a word of a prophet. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. Can you ha do you have a word of encouragement for someone watching right now and they just need a word of encouragement watching from home? Uh, dizer que em todo lugar onde há um profeta, profetas são chamados para estações e templos. E é preciso que Deus dá a graça para percebemos e termos discernimentos que profetas foram levantados para um templo e uma estação. E essa estação, profetas também são chamados para levantar outros profetas. E eu, como profeta de Deus, advirto a sua pessoa para vir para este lugar em nome de Jesus. And thank you so much. Sir. Have a wonderful service. Glory be to Jesus. Wow, all oh, glory to the God of champions. Yeah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And so rejoice, people of God, viewers across the nations of the yeah. earth. Rejoice as God is set to divinely settle you, as the God of Papa Joshua is, Igila, is set to give you divine help. Yeah. Right about now here at the City of Wonders, it's filled with an atmosphere of joy, faith, peace celebration and gratitude to god i mean wow. it's 17 years this has truly been a long time coming it's been a long time coming yes Not only 17 years mm -hmm. but 27 years of pastoral work by our father in the lord wow 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 this is a mighty move of god and there is nothing that is too hard for him to Amen. do we still want to hear from others what they're trusting god for what your expectations are viewers remember you are not too far to be reached by god just open your spirits connect in faith and Amen. everything taking place here at the city of wonders will have its full expression in your life hallelujah amen, Glory be to you. amen, amen. let's speak to some more yes, people you're welcome and hear what they're Have expecting to glory be to jesus hallelujah you're highly welcome sir hallelujah hallelujah you're welcome sir you're welcome sir good to have you good to have you so you are highly welcome can you wave your flag i see another country flag today can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from sir my name is evangelist peter i'm coming from Ivory Coast, cote d'ivoire frank country wow so can you greet your people in french and encourage them to be a part of what god is doing here at the city of wonders okay je vous salue tous que dieu vous bénisse uh, je veux inviter tous les jeunes serviteurs de Dieu de la Côte d'Ivoire à venir uh, s'abreuver auprès de ce tombe, ce tombe de Dieu qui est une source intarissable de bénédiction. Je suis venu, ça me fait trois ans que je viens 
Et chaque fois que je suis venu, j'ai eu une nouvelle expérience avec le Seigneur. Donc j'invite tous les Ivoiriens, les hommes de Dieu qui, qui ont besoin d'orientation, de direction, à venir s'abreuver auprès de cet homme de Dieu qui est une bénédiction pour, pour le monde et pour la nation. Thank you so much, Asa. Are you a minister of the gospel? Yes, yes. Okay, today you have been privileged to be a part of what God is doing here in Champions Real Assembly. As a minister of God, what word of advice do you have for other ministers watching right now that may be in difficult situation, that may not have a headway in life? What advice do you have for them? Like, like I just said in French, uh, this is my third time to come. And anytime I came, it has been a new experience. There are, there, there are some people in this world you have to meet. And Daddy is one of them. He's one of them. And I want to advise all the men of God that need direction, orientation, that don't know what to do, that need counselors to come at this conference. They will be blessed. I'm telling you, they will be very, very blessed. Glory be to Jesus. Sir, can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? My name is uh, Apostle Nobet Gouveia. I'm from Zimbabwe. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. All the way from the southern region. You're highly welcome, sir. So, Champions Real Assembly so is celebrating 17 years of God's faithfulness. And coming all the way, surely you have expectations. What do you want the God of our Father to do for you? Um, I want the God of our Father, Prophet um, Joshua Igila, to pray for to deliver our country there are so many divisions in our country so my first prayer is for my country and uh, myself to be uh, uh, spiritually uplifted yes thank you sir can you invite people from zimbabwe in your home language please yes and you know invite i may say Wagarwe Zimbabwe, ino injimbo yekuto nzo unoya, mweyoko no sumuziru ashkuru, injimbo yono sanga na ne wapo amari, kuvirachu ya every corner, oningo akas zazu ni mweyoko amari, inti noteli. Thank you so much, sir. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, sir. Glory be to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. wow. That was wow. the most selfless prayer point. I Honestly. Have ever heard. Honestly. The first prayer point was for his nation, mm. that there's division within his country, and he wants God to intervene. Indeed, that can only be the heart of a minister of the gospel. So true, so true. Wow. And you know, it's began to hit deep. That's mm -hmm. to tell you, our father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Gila, is a prophet saying to the nations Indeed. of the earth. Amen. And did you listen to the other testimony of the brother? This isn't his first time yes. visiting the city of Wendell. There is always a new experience. Yeah. There's always a fresh encounter. Indeed. It can never remain the same. Yes. Viewers, you need to be a part of what God is doing here yeah. at the city of Wendell. Hallelujah. When Tell me. That there's always a new encounter. Yes. You're reminded of what mom was preaching about. Fresh oil for fresh, fresh fire. Does it? There is always fresh oil for mm. fresh fire right here at the City of Wonders. And you need to keep coming for more. Keep watching Champions TV to have fresh fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 There are so, so many people. Yeah. And we want to hear yeah. what they are expecting Expecting. today. Hallelujah. You're, You're welcome, Jesus. sirs. Man. You're welcome, sirs. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Good to have you. You're highly welcome. You're highly welcome. Can you share with the viewers your name? And can you share with the viewers what it feels like to be a partaker of this mighty celebration? I tell you, I don't wish anybody to miss a chance like this because since I stepped in this place, I feel the presence of God, the, the atmosphere wow. is prophetic, the atmosphere is miraculous. I wish all people, uh, Uganda, especially from my country, Uganda, I wish them to step here. That was to experience what I'm experiencing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So are you a minister of the gospel? Yes, I'm a prophet. I have the ministry in Uganda, the church. So what words of prayers do you have for the ministry of Papa Joshua Igila? Yes, I'm expecting a lot because according to the place I've seen here, 
uh, I, that when I go back to my country, uh, things will bomb, something will happen because uh, I have seen what is happening here. It's, it's, it's a solution ground. When you step here, your life will never be the same again. I feel different. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. Good evening, sir. You're welcome. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? My name is Evangelist Rafael So I am from Lilongwe, Malawi. Amen. Wow. This is absolutely mind-blowing. All the way from Malawi. Sir, can you greet your fellow Malawians in your home language? Mulibwanji no se a Malawi. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. So, sir, the question I have for you tonight is that you have been at the City of Wonders during the week. Can you share with the viewers how your experience has been so far? The anointing and this place is at a higher dimension. And I've seen the, hands of, the hand of God working upon me. And I know I've been transformed in all areas of my life. Amen. And glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you have a word of encouragement for someone that's out there watching? Maybe they're feeling discouraged. What can you say to them tonight? Come and partake the greater anointing. Come and experience the God power in this place. The anointing that is on the higher dimension. Your life will never be the same. I know I have partaken my own. Come and experience and come and partake your own grace and be part of this commission. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your service. Wow. wow. People are testifying Honestly. just by being at the City of Wonders for a week. And already you can hear what he's saying about the presence of God, mm -hmm. the move of God, the anointing upon the man of God, which surely had an encounter with at the school of the truly. Prophet. And my goodness, you cannot afford to miss this three-day powerful program. That's so true, Sister Fanisa. Champions Real Assembly, the City of Wonders, mm -hmm. is a house of prayer and Amen. atmosphere filled with miracles testimonies, healings, and mighty deliverance. Amen. Entering into the environment alone is launching so many into the miraculous. Amen. Viewers, you need to stay connected in Amen. faith. Hallelujah. We Let's see have to some more people. Glory be to wow, Jesus. Wow, hallelujah. You're highly welcome, Maz. You're highly you're welcome. welcome. Good to have you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow. Can you share with us your name and your country? I see your flag. We thank the Holy Spirit. My name is Dickness Roxon Henry, and I'm from Champions Royal Assembly in North America in New Jersey. Wow, wow. So you're a part of this wonderful prophetic family. We thank God for your life, Ma. We thank God for your life, Ma. How has your stay been here at the City of Wonders? It has been remarkable because, um, you know, it's my second visit to the City of Wonders and um, I, I have prepared myself and um, I, I, don't, I really don't have an expectation, but I know God is expecting great things from me. So that's what I'm prepared to do. I'm here to change my state and my estate that when I go back to Champions World Assembly North America, I would never be the same again. Amen. I help to our ministry. Amen, amen, amen. May the desires of your hearts be granted, ma'am, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Can you share with us your name and where you come My name is Abo Sede Iswala. I'm from CRA North America, New Jersey. Wow, wow. You're a part of this prophetic family. We thank God for your life. How has it been here at the City of Wonders for you? Ah, it's been amazing. It's been wonderful. And um, I know that, uh, like she said, this is my, uh, her second time. And this is my second time too. And I pray even, uh, as a, sorry, the one that uh, we did last year was so impactful. And I know this one will be greater than the one, no, from last year. Amen, amen, amen. So, ma'am, as a daughter of this prophetic family, what's that one thing about this ministry that has helped your faith to keep growing over and over again? Um, as a daughter of this family, 
Uh, my faith has been stronger than ever before. I'm telling you, like I normally said, I tell people that I so much believe in the prophetic. Even our Papa, you know, the way it's been impacting people, you know, making people to feel that, you know, um, they are not alone, you know, in everything that, you know, God is for us. And I'm very, very sure as we are here today that the Lord God Almighty that made him the head, we continually made him the, so make him the head. And, you know, the prophecy that we are going to get today will be very impactful that even when we go back to New Jersey, we will impact others too in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Good evening, Ma. You're welcome. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you come? My name is Dickoness Molandi and I am a part of Champion Assembly North America. We live in New Jersey. And glory be to Jesus, all the way from North America. You are highly welcome. Ma. So Champions Royal Assembly is celebrating 17 years of God's faithfulness. And I would just want you to say a word of prayer for the ministry, for the man of God and the woman of God. Oh. My prayer for the ministry, for my papa and my beautiful mama in the Lord, is I ask for more grace, more success, more blessings. I ask that everything that their heart desired, the Lord will grant it to them in Jesus' name. Amen. So my coming all the way from North America, I'm sure you also want God to do something for you. What do you want the God of our Father to do for you? I want the God of my papa and my mama as I'm here in this holy ground to change my state. I ask God to give me more knowledge, you know, and I ask God to take away everything that is not from God in me and give me more of him in Jesus' name. The God of our Father will grant your heart's desires in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Have a wonderful Thank service. You, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to Jesus. Wow, I, I can't explain what wow. is happening here at the City of Wonders. All I can say, this is the mighty move of God. Yes. Everyone is ready, hearts are open from I different think. nations. I was about to say, oh my God. From North America, from mm. Europe, from Africa, all over. We are the just continents. mind blown at how, at how people would travel such a distance yes. to have an encounter with the God of our Father. Indeed, this can only be the Spirit of the Lord that has led them to the City of Wonders, where wonders never cease in the lives of champions. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is truly a mighty move at the City of Wonders. Viewers, do not feel that you are too far to be yes. reached by God. We need to hear from so many that they yes. have their uh, let's expectations. People. Let's listen. And hear what they're expecting. Glory, you're highly welcome, Ma. You're, you're welcome, welcome, Ma. You're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Good to have you here. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from, ma'am? I'm Prophetess Anastasia Mbuli. I'm coming from Cameroon. All the way from Cameroon. Wow, that's great. Is this your first time visiting the city of Wenders? No, it's not my first time. We've been coming here for about more than 10 times. Wow. wow. <laughs> You've been consistent visiting Champions Royal Assembly. What's that one thing you can share with the viewers that has kept you coming over and over again? You know, Champions, is a, it's my home. It's a place to be. The anointing in this place is so real. The word coming from Papa, from Mama is mind-blowing and it keeps us glued to, the, to our TV each time we are watching. Wow, that's a great testimony, ma'am. We are sure so many people might in they might be in places of difficulty, they might be in fixed situation. What word of advice do you have for them as you've been blessed through this wonderful ministry? Champions has been a great inspiration for us throughout these years we've been following. And I want to speak to you viewers, wherever you are, my fellow Cameroonians, run down here to Champions Royal Assembly and experience God for yourself and by yourself. Wow, that's truly a great one. Viewers, you just heard her. You need to experience the God of Champions for yourself and yeah. by yourself. Wow, that's a great one, ma'am. That's a great one. Thank you. Good evening, sir. You're highly welcome. Thank you so much. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? I am Apostle Elvis Mbuli, all the way from Yaoundé, Cameroon. Amen. You're highly welcome, sir. 
So, so the question I have for you is, what has attracted you to Papa Joshua again now? Wow, what has attracted me to my spiritual father in the Lord and my spiritual mother in the Lord, it is the dimension of the word of God that the addition are to us as their followers. They are not just prophets, but they are words carriers. They are so impactful in preaching the message and we still see the word of God so real over their life and it's also real in our lives. Glory be to Jesus. Can you say a word of prayer for the man and the woman of God? Wow, I just want to say to everyone watching a Champions Royal Assembly through maybe a the Champion TV or on Facebook or whatever social media platform, stay connected and I believe that the God of my father, Papa Joshua Egila, and the God of my mother, Mama Stella Egila, will meet you at the point of your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Stay connected and God will bless you. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Thank Have you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. I really My love goodness. the testimony of this couple. They yes. emphasize on the word. Exactly. Our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Igila, always enlightens God's people. Mm -hmm. This is a prophetic ministry that is word based. Yeah. The word of God standard show here in Champions Real Assembly. And we realize from their testimony that it is this new dimensional word from our Father that has kept them coming over and over again. Indeed. They are not the same. Their life has been transformed. You yeah. too can be blessed by the ministry of our Father, Papa Indeed. Joshua Igela. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when they emphasized how they love the di like the power and the dimension of the word within our father and our mother in the mm -hmm. world. Papa Joshua Angela always says, nothing happens here without the word of God. That's the true. That's true. The miracles, the testimonies, the prophecies is the word of God. Mm -hmm. And we need to study the word of God to see the raw power and manifestation of God's power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is doing mighty things. So many people are still trooping into oh this 80,000 capacity Ready auditorium. Viewers, just stay connected in faith and be a part of what God is doing here at yeah. the City of Wonders. Let's Hallelujah. Let's more people and hear what they are expecting. Glory You're highly Jesus. welcome, ma'am. You're highly, You're highly welcome. welcome. Good so to have you. Welcome. Good to have you. Can you share with us your name and where you come from? My name is Prophetess Nantobego Pamela Sibande, all the way from South Africa. Wow. And this is my husband, Apostle Sibande. All the way from South Africa. Viewers, God is interested in your matter. Remember distance. Distance is not a barrier. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time visiting the city of Wendesma? Yes, it is indeed. It is your first time. How has your experience been? Can you share with the viewers? Uh, we have learned quite a lot, personally and spiritually we are growing. We are blessed and happy to be under the covering of our mama and papa, Joshua Ikenda. Wow, thank God for your life. Today is day one of our 17th year anniversary. How do you feel to be a part of what God is doing here today? I feel very blessed to come and celebrate with our parents since it's our first time. We are praying that we as well will be able to last this long in our ministry. <laughs> Amen. As you're celebrating with our father and our mother, truly the desires of your hearts will be granted. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. So you can tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from. Okay. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Sibande. I'm coming from South Africa in the bank. Amen. You're highly welcome, sir. So, sir, how has your experience been so far at the City of Wonders? It's awesome. We've come here on Saturday. We've attended a Sunday service, the new song. Uh, it was very powerful. We connected to it. I think already things are happening, and we received the prophecy that is already coming true. So it's marvelous. We're able to attend the School of the Prophet. Also, we are impacted and impacted until far. So it's very, very amazing. Amen. Wow, you already have testimonies of what the God of our Father is doing in your life. Indeed, this can only be God. So, sir, what are you expecting in this three-day program? In this three-day program, I think now for us, it's just to thank God. 
because already what we've come here for, we already see the results. So our gain is to celebrate with our parents for the 17 years anniversary. That may the Lord God keep growing the grace, keep growing the work uh, into his maximum more potential. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Have a wonderful service. Glory Thank you. Thank you. Testimonies wow. are already trooping wow. in. What the man of God, mm. what the woman of God has said over their lives is already coming to pass. It has not even been seven days already. I'm telling you, this is day one My of goodness. the anniversary celebration. And they are ready to now thank the God of our Father and our Mother for what God has done for them. That's one prophetic testimony, that you know, is, right? That is a very We just started our Ebenezer program. I mean, yes. truly, Ebenezer, our stone of help. Amen. So he said, this season is just celebration, yes. celebration, celebration. Indeed. Wow, wow. So God is doing true. mighty things. We'd yeah. still like to hear more it's expectations. And here mm. what they are expecting. Mm. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you, man. You're welcome. You are highly welcome. welcome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from? So my name is Sister Neff, and I'm actually from Champions Rural Assembly, North America. Wow. So you are a daughter of this prophetic family? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. So how has your experience been so far? Honestly, I'm grateful. I feel like this is a, a eternal privilege to be here in the same place with our most holy, majestic Father and the Lord, Papa Joshua and Gila. And actually, I'm like, very excited for the testimonies that I'm going to receive. And I'm excited for the 17 year anniversary because I know that even as I'm celebrating what our most holy, majestic Father, Papa Joshua and Gila, celebration will never cease in my life. Amen, amen. We can see your heart of gratitude, your expectations, that you're not going back the same. So after participating in this uh, 17th year anniversary, what should the nation of U.S. expect from you? So the nation of UX, they should expect um, celebration in their lives. You know, like my expectations or expectations for people in the United States should be that God should change their story. I remember when our papa was talking about a new song. So even as I'm here, I know that people back home from North America will receive a new song as well. Amen, so we thank amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. That's a great one. That's a great one. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? Oh, well, um, my name is Joel Miller, and I'm from uh, Champions Row Assembly in, in New York, and I'm from New York. Man, glory be to Jesus. So we are celebrating 17 years of Champions Royal Assembly. What do you want the God of our Father to do for you? What well, I really want for the God of my Father, <laughs> Holy Father, uh, uh, Papa Joshua and Gilly, to give me a the lessons that I learned from him is that when you receive a, a prophetic word and a good, it's like you're sharing a testimony. A, a testimony is like, it's like it empowers you, it gives you the, the energy. And I think, and, and, and I'm receiving the more testimonies and more and more prophetic word in my life. In my life, it, it helps me, empower me. And I just want to share this with uh, the people in the USA that whenever that you share the prophetic word of God it just keep on pressing in and submitting to the word of god because because the word is life and and prophetic in every day of your life wow that is such a powerful word thank you so much sir good evening mike can you tell us your name and where you're coming from yes hi good evening my name is madge serville i'm coming from north america cra um in new jersey Amen. You're highly welcome. So coming all the way from New Jersey, I'm sure you're expecting something from the God of our Father. What are you expecting? Oh yes, I'm expecting to, you know, have a change of state and as along as along with my change of state that my change of estate will be glorious so that um, in all the callings that I have that I can even you know, perform it with excellence and with new knowledge. I'm very grateful to be celebrating and to be here and to understand and hear his story. And I, I'm thankful for what the 
you know, what the Heavenly Father is doing in my life. So I'm very grateful to be here. Amen. And what word of encouragement do you have for someone watching this evening? Oh, prepare to receive. Because with every service, is a change of state. And it's new knowledge, new revelation. And it, it helps you to, you know, round up all your knowledge. And it, it goes it goes together with all that we're learning. So, you know, prepare for an impactful moment to receive because we are in the presence of our majestic father and mother. And every time there's an encounter with them, there's a change in your life. So whether you're here in person or you're watching, get ready for a change. You will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful service. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be. Thank you. Wow. My wow. gosh. You can just feel it in their spirit. They're so excited to receive the word of God, a new revelation, new dimension, new power of God. And they like their spirit is, is so high. Yeah, that's and true. So open. And that's the only way for you to receive. Once you open up your spirit, that is when the Holy Spirit is able to walk. Because the word of the Lord tells us that the word of God is like a seed which is implanted in our heart. So when your, when your heart is prepared, when your heart is a fertile ground, that word is able to germinate into a beautiful fruit in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. I'm so excited. I don't know me about too. you viewers, but I, I am it. ready to receive from the <laughs> God of Papa Joshua Igila. I mean, it is Ebenezer. Viewers, My Ebenezer, word. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. Let's see here from so many Glory your expectations. You. Hallelujah. We have so, so many people from all over the world ready to experience. You're welcome, ma'am. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Please, can you wave your flag? I see it. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful one. Can you share with us your name, ma'am, and where you come from? My name is um, Sher um, Deacon Shirley, and I'm from North America region, Champion Royal Assembly, North America region. Wow, another daughter of this prophetic ministry. Can you share with the viewers your experience? How has the atmosphere been ever since you stepped your feet in the City of Wonders? Truly, as soon as I stepped my feet on this holy ground, everything was just so awesome. You could feel the anointing, you could feel the, the power, you could feel the, the whole atmosphere was just so beautiful. And even me coming here, I know I'm not going to leave the same way I came. Man, we trust God for you. Um, Ma'am, as a daughter of this prophetic ministry, what words of prayers, what words of, um, what positive words do you have for our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Aguila? I mean, it is 17 years, God has been faithful. What words of prayer do you have for this ministry? My prayer for my holy um, Papa Joshua Aguila is that the Lord will continue to bless him, to lead him, to guide him, direct him, and prosper him in every year of his life. And that the righteous right hand of the Lord will always rest mightily upon him to comfort him for direction, for protection, and that he will always finish well in all that he do. He will prosper and finish well in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good evening, sir. You're highly welcome. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you come from? Amen. My name is Pastor Terrace from Champions Royal Assemblies, North America. I'm so glad to be with you all today. Amen. You're highly, highly welcome. So, sir, how, is this your first time at the City of Wonders? So, this is my second time at the City of Wonders, and honestly, it's been a great experience. I'm forever grateful to always be back here to celebrate the anniversary with you all and to celebrate with our mom and our papa. I'm forever grateful. And indeed. Can you say a word of prayer for the ministry, for the man and the woman of God? Yes, thank you for asking me that question. You know, even as the ministry has entered into this anniversary, we're so grateful for our Papa's commitment and dedication to ensuring the advancement of this ministry. So we even want to pray and just ask the Lord, may he continue to elevate our Papa on all sides. May he receive higher levels, higher dimensions of revelations. May he be the one that the Lord uses in these end time to raise mighty men across the world. And even for our mama, that may they both be people who raise mighty champions who take over the world. So we thank the Lord for their lives forevermore. And thank you for asking me that question. Wow, thank you for that wonderful prayer. 
So, can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? Amen. My name is Brother Jalil and I'm from CRA in North America and I'm so happy to be here. And glory be to Jesus. What word of encouragement do you have for someone this evening watching Champions TV? Thank you for that question, Ma. One word of encouragement I'll give to someone is um, continue to pray and continue to just lift yourself up in, in the spirit as you worship and celebrate with us. Because even we're celebrating here, but someone watching online, celebration will always be in your life forevermore. Amen. And so, what do you want the God of our Father and Mother and the Lord to do for you? Amen. Wow. I, so many things I want to do for me, but um, one of the main things I wanted to do for me is to open up my spiritual life so I can continue to receive more information and take on the word. Um, there's a way that someone could be sitting here and the words could just pass them by. So for me, I want my spirit to be open so all of the work can just come straight to me like a magnet. <laughs> Amen. That'll be a portion in the name of Jesus. Do have a wonderful service. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Glory be to Jesus, my wow, God. I wow. love what he said. It's what we're just talking about. Yes. That you, your spirit needs to be open to receive. That's it. Very that important. It needs to be like a magnet that's just receiving Ready the to word receive of God. all of it. It's my never God. the same. It's never the same. There is always more. Amen. There's a new dimension. There's a new Every encounter. I mean, God always has something in store for his children. Amen. Our lives cannot remain still. Our lives cannot remain the same. There's always more to all that God has in store for us. Amen. And I'm super grateful because truly he's reaching out to his people and no one is going back the same again. Hallelujah. Amen. We still have There's so many people, people from various Let's countries. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're welcome, Good says. Sir. Good to have you. Good You're welcome, says. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I see you're waving your flag already. Viewers, see what God is doing here at the City of Wonders. Good to have you. So, sir, can you share with us your name and where you come from? My name is uh, Jim Osasere Enoma. I'm from Zambia. Can you greet your people in your dialect? Muribanje, Murishani. Wow. People of Zambia, you have a citizen here in Champions Royal Assembly. So, is this your first time visiting the city of Wenders? No, this is not my first time. Wow, this isn't your first time. So how has your experience been? Can you share with us what exactly is happening here at the City of Wonders? My experience here has been awesome, wonderful. Uh, since I came here to this um, Ebenezer conference, it's a wonderful thing. It is wonderful. It is an awesome experience. Wow, wow. We thank God for your life. So, so what words of um, advice do you have for ministers? Today is day one of the ministers' conference. What do you have to tell them regarding divine direction, how they need to visit the city of wonders and be a part of what God is doing here through our father, Papa Joshua Igila? As a minister of God, uh, learning never ceases. Learning never ceases at all. And uh, it is divine direction that takes us to our destiny. So we need to be divinely directed. And this is the reason why, one of the reasons why I'm here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we trust that throughout this anniversary celebration, you will be blessed and the desires of your heart will be granted in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Glory be to Jesus. Good evening, sir. You're highly welcome. Can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you're coming from? I'm um, Prophet Prisa from Liberia. Sir, can you greet your fellow people in your language? Uh, well, we speak English. I would like to say every one of you, hi to every one of you that are watching me. 
So, so we are celebrating 17 years of Champions Royal Assembly, and it has been such an amazing time in the presence of God. What do you want the God of our Father to do for you as we celebrate? Oh wow, I bless God so much for this grace. Uh, my expectation yet is for God to change my life and the story of my family and my generation. So, sir, can you say a word of prayer for the ministry and for our spiritual parents? Um, my prayer for my father and my mother in the Lord is for God to keep them strong and let God bless them and watch over them and let the ministry be mighty and great more and more. Every expectation of the wicked concerning this ministry, I declare it aborted in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, sir. Do you have a wonderful service? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Glory be to Jesus. Wow, wow. People from all different nations yes. ready to have an yes. encounter with the God of our mm -hmm. Father, ready to celebrate with us as we celebrate 17 years of Champions Royal Assembly. Assembly. It has been rays of prayers for the ministry. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. keep taking us from one high to another, yeah. increase in dimensions. You could see that everyone is celebrating. Yeah. Everyone is showing gratitude. I mean, God has been faithful. Indeed. He has, he has. We still have so many. People are still trooping in. So wow, we people. need to hear from them. You're I'm welcome, sure sir. You're welcome, sir. You're highly welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Good to have you, sir. You're highly welcome. You're highly welcome. So, sir, can you share with us your name and where you come from? I am Evangelist Camilo Buyo. I'm coming from Angola. Wow. All the way from Angola. Is this your first time visiting the City of Wonders? Oh, that's my second time. Second time. This is truly prophetic. And right about now, you're privileged by the grace of God to be a part of our 17 year anniversary, also the Ministers' Conference. How does it feel like to be a part of this wonderful celebration? I feel so grateful to the Lord because I was chosen to be one of those whom the Lord has aligned prophetically to be part of this great conference. Wow, we thank God for your life. Um, sir, as a minister of the gospel, what advice do you have for so many ministers that may be in confusion? What can you say regarding divine direction as to visiting the City of Wonders? Oh, um, I want to say to those who are doubtful, you know, who are you know, thinking a lot you know, not to come, and you, ha you have to come. This is a wonderful place, a place full of great impactation of the power of God, a place where the Lord really is. And I believe if you come, your life will never, let me tell you, will never be the same. Amen, amen. No one that comes to the City of Wonders remains the same again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good evening, sir. You're highly welcome. Please, can you tell the viewers at home your name and where you come? My name is Luta Feliciano Willy. I come from Portugal. I am here to participate in the church of the church. Amen. His name is Luther, coming from Portugal. He came to be part of this great conference. Amen. You're highly welcome, sir. So, sir, coming all the way from Portugal, surely you want God to do something for you. Sorry? Surely he wants God to do something for him, coming all the way from Portugal. Sim, sim, eu acredito nisso que eu vou sair daqui cheio do Espírito Santo. I believe that I will come out of here full of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Have a wonderful service. Thank you so much. Amen. My wow. goodness. For yes. me, this is one outstanding session. Yes. The move and the presence of God has no language barrier. This has nothing to do with where you come from. This has nothing to do with what you speak. God moves. God is still moving and He is moving today. For me, this is truly outstanding. This is outstanding. That was a powerful one. Yeah. There's more people. Let's reach some more people. 
Wow, you're highly welcome. You're welcome, sir. Good to have you, good to have you. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you're coming from, sir? Okay, I'm Pastor Christian Onyekachiku Bolo, all the way from Asaba. Wow, we have a Nigerian right about now. This is truly a great and a wonderful privilege. So you came all the way from Delta State. Is this your first time visiting the city of Wendus? Uh, anything for my daddy. He says if he's faster. No, uh, we've done our school of prophet. We've done everything. We've graduated, and uh, we're preparing warming up to welcome Papa to Asaba very soon. Wow, I see that you are strongly having faith that the mind of God will be visiting your state. So, sir, as a son of our father, Papa Joshua Igila, what's that one thing that has kept you coming and staying connected to this grace? He is a, he's a powerful man of God. God really called him. When you, when you look at pastors now, everywhere pastors, this one is a father indeed. He has the he has a word, he has the prophetic, he has the miraculous, he has all, and he above all he's so humble. His humility has led me to him. And so many encounters I had with him in the dream God showed me. And what I'm telling you that he's coming to us, but know that he will. The posters are everywhere, he's coming to our church in Asaba. Seven and eight. Is coming, yeah, December, next two weeks. We thank God for your life. We see that you have been transformed by this grace that is working here at the city of Wonders through the word, through the prophetic. We thank God for you, sir. What word of advice do you have for various ministers? They might be confused. What can you say regarding divine direction as to how you have been blessed through our father, Papa Joshua Igila? Right. Uh, the book of uh, King, Second Kings chapter uh, 2, told us about uh, the story of Elisha and Elijah and if the other sons of the prophet were looking at Elisha and Elisha was following Elijah until Elijah, Elijah was taken off Elijah, Elisha came back with power I would tell them my advice to them is know who you follow because what you follow determines what follows you now I'm encouraging everyone and advising them to come down to city of wonders and meet with my father and their lives will change. Yeah. Let the real person nurture and tutor you. That's Papa Joshua Igela. Thank you so much as you're being a part of this wonderful celebration. We trust that all of your hard desires will be granted. Thank you so much. Do have a wonderful service. Thank you. Oh my God. Excited. Honestly. That's true, that's true. I really love what he said. He said, our father is filled with the word. He's a prophet of God. And to top it off, he is humble. And that's one thing that has drawn him to our father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Igela. Viewers all over the world, are we as a people have been blessed with a prophet, a prophet sent to the nations of the earth. You need to be a part of what God is doing in the life of his people you need to stay connected in faith and certainly you will be blessed in the name of jesus yeah. yes, amen we still have so people. many people glory be to jesus you're highly welcome man. you're welcome sir you're welcome you're welcome good to have you here good to have you here so sir can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from my name is reverend dr Elijah Apabio coming from Patako. Wow, all the way from River State. So is this your first time visiting the City of Wonders? Uh, this is uh, my level 300. You are also a part of the School of the Prophets. Yes. Can you share with the viewers your experience? How has it been? It was awesome, a greater height. I see the mighty works of God, and I see the power of God in life of our Papa. He imparted us, and I know that my life will never be the same again because you have changed. It must be a greater height, even in my ministry. The world will hear of me. Amen. Amen. I see that you're already receiving and you're already being blessed by this prophetic impartation through the school of the prophet. We thank God for your life, sir. Mike, can you share with us your name and where you come from? Yeah, my 
name is uh, Chigoze Elijah. I came from the uh, River State Portacot, and we are here to complete our 300 level in uh, the School of the Prophets. And uh, I can testify that the, the things that the God is using our Papa to do in our lives and the life of others, uh, I appreciate God. God is so wonderful. God is so awesome. My dear sister, I tell you the kind of, I mean, the, 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 the grace of God I saw today, even while I was baptizing, I was like, God, is this you? God did a lot of things yes. and I say God continue to impart in us the more grace, more greater height, the mighty man of God, the, 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 the God of Ebenezer, he did it today in our life and I can testify his goodness upon our life. I'm so excited and I bless God and I know that I'm going with this grace to our ministry to function as our Papa has declared that we are going with the grace and we are going to spread abroad. Over the blessings of God wow. that we got from here wow. today mostly in this baptism wow. is awesome is awesome I appreciate God we thank God for your life we see that the God of our father Papa Joshua Gila is already doing mighty wonders in your life this is such a beautiful testimony and we are certain that when you get back to your destination all of the blessings you've received will have its manifest expression. Do have a wonderful service. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. God is doing great things here at the City of Wonders. People of God, you need to stay connected to this grace. You need to open your heart. You need to align yourself because as your heart is open, God will reach out to you. There is nothing impossible and there is nothing that is too hard for the God of our Father to do. We still have so many people from all walks of life ready to express and share with us their expectation as to this day one minister conference and our 17th year anniversary celebration hallelujah you're welcome man. good to have you well god is doing mighty things here at the city of wonders you're highly welcome man. can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from my name is prophetess maureen obuke i come from champion royal assembly sokoto branch Oh wow, we have a daughter of this prophetic ministry. As a daughter of this prophetic ministry, what can you say that God has been doing in your life that has kept you connected to this great grace? God has been doing great miracle in my life, the life of my husband, the life of my children. In fact, I don't know that miracles are so tremendous till i stepped my feet in champion since 2015 and miracle upon miracles testimony upon testimony god has been so marvelous we thank god for your life as you are staying connected to this great grace and you are having evidential testimonies hallelujah so mom what word of prayer do you have for this great ministry I want to first of all celebrate the grace upon our father, my father, your father, Papa Joshua Igila, and our mother, my mother, Prophet Estella Joshua Igila, because God has been doing well. And I pray for them as they celebrate this 17th year anniversary that we will keep celebrating more anniversaries. And I am praying for them for divine preservation and protection upon their lives and the lives of their family that their enemy will not see them god will continue to protect them divinely in the name of jesus thank you so much ma and do have a wonderful service thank you so much Wow, viewers at home wherever you're watching us from through champions television or, or our various social media platforms you need to stay connected to this mighty move. We still have so many that want to share with us their expectations. You're welcome. God is doing mighty things here at the City of Wonders. Wow. Good evening, sir. Can you wave your flag? Wave your flag. Hallelujah. Can you share with us your name and where you come from, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Charles, I'm come from Gabon. All the way from Gabon. Wow, the nation of Gabon is blessed to have you here at the City of Wonders. So, is this your first time? 
No, it's not my first time. Wow. So you're a son of our father, Papa Joshua Igela. Wow. So how can you explain the atmosphere here at the City of Wonders? Wonderful. Very wonderful. I come from uh, the School of the Prophet. It's very wonderful. We can see that you're expressing all that you've experienced here at the City of Wonders. So what word of prayer do you have for this great ministry as we are celebrating our 17th year anniversary? I want to say more grace, higher grace, higher dim dimension in the prophetic and always. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good to have you, sir. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from? Yes, I'm um, Prophet Wisdom. I'm coming from Gabon. You also come from Gabon. Oh my God, can you keep waving this flag? The nation of Gabon is blessed as so many has come to represent their nation. Hallelujah. So is this your first time visiting the City of Wonders? Uh, no, it's my second time. The first time was in 2016. Wow, wow. So what has your experience been like following this great grace? Oh yeah, in fact, it is a blessing, it's a blessing. I've been here for the School of Prophets also, and I've, I can assure that it's a mind-blowing experience. <laughs> and I'm really, really, really blessed. I thank God to be here, to be partakers of this moment, because I believe that something great is about to happen in my life. Amen. We see that your heart is open and ready to receive from the God of our Father, Papa Joshua Igila. We trust God with you that all of your heart desires will be granted. Thank you so much, sirs, and do have a wonderful service. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God is doing mighty things. We have past students. We have new students. There is nothing that can ever remain the same in your life as we are experiencing a new dimensional and prophetic move of God through our Father in the Lord, Papa Joshua Igila. We still have so many people right here at the City of Wonders that want to share with us their expectation as to the 17th year anniversary. Stay connected, stay glued to your screen, as whatever is taking place here will have its full manifestation in your life. Hallelujah. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. It's good to have you. God is doing great things here at the City of Wonders. Can you show the viewers your flags? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're highly welcome, sir. Can you show Thank you. the viewers your name? Okay, I'm uh, Apostle Isa Rema from the Ark of the Covenant for Christ. Gaundere, uh, Cameroon. All the way from Cameroon. Can you greet your people in your language, sir? Okay, Cameroon people. I greet you people. I bless you people from the, the, the city of Wonders. There will be something supernatural today. This is the opportunity we have been waiting for years now. So today they will, they will, they, we, are going to, we are going to have a supernatural encounter. And I will transfer that anointing to Cameroon in the name of Jesus. We thank God for your life. Is this your first time visiting the City of Wonders? In fact, it is not the first time, it's the second time. But this second time is a supernatural opportunity. So we are very happy to be part of this uh, prophetic atmosphere. Wow, I love what you said. Supernatural opportunity. People of God, there is always more to what God has in store for us. It's a new dimension. It's a new encounter. So what word of prayers do you have for this great ministry? Okay, my prayer is that first... Uh, I'm praying that God will give a long life to our Papa, uh, Senior Prophet uh, Papa Joshua Iginla. And uh, the second thing in my, from my heart is that let this ministry grow, grow, grow and grow. Because the ministry is international and I'm very sure that uh, the impact that this ministry is having actually will reach the, 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 last, the last places in the world. So we thank God, we believe Christ, we believe, we believe Christ for that. That was a deep and prophetic prayer. Thank you so much, sir. So, sir, we are happy to have you here. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you also come from? Uh, my name is uh, Reverend Joseph Wanyang. Uh, I am coming from Cameroon, precisely in the city of Tiko. That's great. Is this your first time visiting the city of Wendes? It is not the first time. This is my second time. I was here in 2016 and here is 2023. 
and there is a clarion call for us to gather again under the team Ebenezer and I couldn't stay away but just be part of this gathering and benefit for that which God has set aside for us in this season. Amen. Truly, we are in a prophetic season and our Father has titled this wonderful period as Ebenezer, our stone of help. Viewers across the nations of the earth, the God of our Father, Papa Joshua Gila, is reaching out to so many people across the nations of the earth. Thank you so much, Saz, and do have a wonderful service. Thank you, Saz. Thank you. Thank you. I can't explain how the atmosphere is. It is charged up, it is electrifying. The power of God is already made manifest. So many people have begun to flock into this 80,000 capacity auditorium. People of God, you need to stay connected to the mighty move of God here in Champions Real Assembly. We still have so many people. You are highly welcome, sir. You're highly welcome, sir. Oh my God, viewers, stay connected in faith as distance is not a barrier. Hallelujah. Can you share with us your name, sir, and where you come from? Okay, my name is uh, uh, Brother Silas Ongwe Udu. I'm precisely from Abuja here. You're highly welcome, sir. So, sir, you are based here in Abuja. I see your tag on you. It shows that you are also a student of the School of the Prophet. How has your experience been like staying in this atmosphere, learning under the feet of our Father? Honestly speaking, it has been wonderful. It has been awesome. It has been great. But God has used our Father to impact safely on us. For the few days I've been in the city of wonder it has been great a lot of things spiritually has happened in our life the oil of god in my life has been has increased i've been impacted in fact my life spiritually has have turned around to the glory of the lord we thank god for your life today is day one of the ebenezer 17th year anniversary and already you are having so much testimonies we thank God for your life so so what advice do you have for ministers you know watching they might be confused they might need divine direction what words of counsel do you have for them the truth of the matter is that every minister needs to grow on daily basis and one of the places you need to come to grow very well and fast is to come and learn from our Father, come and learn under the feet of our Father. Our Father is a gift to the world. Our Father, Papa Joshua Gillan, is a gift to, to, to several nations. Come, God will use him to inspire our life. God will use him to do a lot of wonders that will help your ministry to grow. By God's grace, every year, twice in every year, there's a there's, um, school of the prophet that runs, and God uses him to do a lot of wonders in the life of ministers. I encourage you, come, learn from him, come and get impartation from him, and I bet you, your life will never remain the same. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. And do have a wonderful time here in the presence of God. Thank you so much. Wow, viewers, you can hear him. Are you going through any form of difficulty? Are you in a state of confusion? Do you need divine direction? God has sent a man to his people. God has sent our father, Papa Joshua Igila, as a vessel, as a prophet. Believe me, there is nothing impossible for the God of champions to do. You need to open your heart. You need to stay connected. You need to get set to receive as distance is not a barrier to the mighty move of God here at the City of Wonders. We still have so many people from all walks of life ready to be a partaker of the supernatural move. Hallelujah. You are highly welcome, sir. Good to have you. Please, can you wave your... I see, I see, I see a nation. Can you share with us what country is this? Zambia. All the way from Zambia. This is a mind-blowing one. What's your name, sir? My name is Pastor Isaac. Okay, you are a minister. Are you a part of the School of the Prophets? Yes. Can you share with us your experience so far? How has in, uh, the atmosphere been here at the City of Wonders? Mm, I am really blessed from the, st the time I started the School of Prophets, from level 100, 200, 300. I came to finish my 300 level. 
and today I was enjoyed when Papa was baptizing us and anointing us and releasing us to say go and work now. Sure, sure. We thank God for your life as you are receiving great invitation through our father, Papa Joshua Igila. Now today is day one of the minister's conference. As a minister of God, what advice do you have for other ministers that may be in a state of confusion, that may be needing help regarding divine direction? What advice do you have for them? My advice to all the viewers this time who are watching to this problem right now. I stay, I say remain collected. Let your faith be strong. Distance is not a barrier. When Papa is going to stand on this altar, whatever will be happening, if you have a big faith, it will happen in your house. It will happen in your country. Thank you so much, sir. Do have a wonderful service. Thank you, thank you. Wow. This is truly a wonderful time in the presence of God. Viewers, you are not too far to be reached by God as the move of God has no barrier. Hallelujah. You're welcome, sir. Good to have you. We still have so many people. We still have so many people. Good to have you, sir, and you are highly welcome. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from, sir? Uh, my name is Victor Kanan. I'm from Mozambique, Nampula, north side of Mozambique. Wow, another Mozambican in the house. So is this your first time visiting the city of Wonders? No, no, no. Actual city of Wonders is my home. <laughs> See, did you hear what he just said? City of Wonders. Champions Royal Assembly is his home. Champions Royal Assembly is home to so many people. Sir, as a son of Papa Joshua Igila, how has your life transformed? Uh, honestly say it is a blessing to be a part of this covering. All of us know that Papa Joshua Ingila is not an ordinary man. He's a man who carries a mandate from God to cause transformation in people's life. And as a man of God, we are all blessed. Myself, my life is blessed. My ministry, my growing into the ministry it is being easy because I have somebody who is mentor men teaching me with the love of Christ. Wow, we thank God for your life. So you're having a great and wonderful testimony already as a son of the prophet. So today is the day one of our minister's conference and also our 17 year anniversary celebration. What word of prayers do you have for this great grace that has been a blessing to you? Um, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, to come at this point that, that we are celebrating, it's not just a celebration. It is a, these are the steps of a great man of God. So my prayer is that this ministry will not stop now and God may give long years our Papa to live, to continue becoming that blessed that is for the world. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, sir. And do have a wonderful service. Thank you, sir. Viewers, remember you need a father to fly further in life and in destiny. He has already begun to experience wonderful testimony just being a part of the School of the Prophet. Today is another day. There is nothing that is impossible for our God to do. Get set as you too will testify. We still have so many. You are highly welcome, sir. Good to have you. You are highly welcome. Good evening, sir, and you are welcome. Can you share with the viewers your name and where you come from? Okay, my name is Apostle Thomas, all the way from Joss Plateau State, Nigeria. Wow, all the way from Joss. Sir, is this your first time visiting the city of Wendis? No, I'm a privileged son of Papa and also a graduate of the School of the Prophet. Wow, we thank God for your life. We thank God. So how has your experience been like? What has your life, you know, turned into? What are the tangible transformations you've experienced just being under this great grace? God has used Papa indeed to transform our life. And those who know knows when we came in here know that it's not the same story. Things have turned around. Last year Papa was with us in the Rukuba Barracks. And then I had no land, I had nothing, and he told me a ministry. So I'm talking to you now, we have built almost 4,000 capacity, and we are worshiping inside. 
you can see the transformation of this wonderful grace. It has been an massive explosion every time. He's just a wonderful father. I think this grace is something that everybody needs to contact. Yes, yes, God bless. Thank you so much, sir. Um, sir, what words of prayer do you have after being blessed by this wonderful grace? What words of prayer do you have for Champions Real Assembly and for our spiritual parents? We will always continue to pray for him because while he's alive, we are strengthened. And then that's why we're here. We love Champion very much. And I know that the whole world will come to key to this channel. The whole world will come to know the good works that God is using our Father to do. And we bless, we pray that God will bless him and keep him for us. Long life is his portion in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, sir, and have a wonderful service. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. That was a mind-blowing testimony just by an encounter, just by staying connected to this great grace, just by submitting under our father, Papa Joshua Gillam, his ministry turned around. His life is not remaining the same again. You can see what God is doing. It's a new Lord, dimensional everybody. increase. It's a prophetic grace upon Hallelujah. the life of God's people. It has been worthwhile listening to the, so the participants the house, of this wonderful conference. Fire their expectations and the various testimonies they have had. The Viewers, we encourage fire. that you stay connected in faith, open if your you spirit, know, like champion, open your heart, receive Ebenezer, our shot stone fire. of hell. There is nothing God shot cannot fire. do. Yeah, 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 stay connected in faith and stay glued Wherever to the screen are, as God is set to visit you like today to in the name inside. of Jesus. God bless you as and keep watching Champions TV.
The Bible says, whatsoever thing you commit into the hands of God, they are safe and they are sound. You are going to pray and say, Father, we commit the program in your hand. We commit to this service in your hand. We commit this conference, Father, in your hand. I want somebody to lift up his voice, begin to appreciate God and say, Father, we commit this conference in your hand. Father, we let this conference, oh God, let it be one in a million. Let this conference, oh God, let it be one in a million. Let this conference, oh God, let it be one in a million. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. Say my father, my father. My father, my father. Every demonic program. Every demonic program. Against my life. Against my life. Against my ministry. Against my ministry. Against my calling. Against my calling. Against my family. Against my family. Against my finance. Against my finance. Every demonic program. Every demonic program. they have. Wherever they are. Cut up by fire. Cut up by fire. Cut up by fire. Cut up by fire. Open your mouth and get on fire. Demonic program. Over my life, over my ministry, all of this meeting, where I am, my power, I come as a cover, I get 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 a cover, I In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, every demonic pursuer, every demonic pursuer, every demonic pursuer, every stubborn pursuer, that I will not enter my next level, that is against my next level, that is against my rising. Every demonic stubborn pursuer in my ministry, in my calling, in my marriage, in my finance, in my business, wherever they have, every demonic stubborn pursuer. Oh, 
in Jesus mighty name we pray the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel the Bible said there are 25 men that stand at the entrance of the gate causing havoc, evil in the city I don't know who stand at the gate of your honor I don't know who stand at the gate of your lifting I don't know who stand at the gate of your testimony I don't know who stand at the gate of your womb I don't know who stand at the gate of your rising at the gate of your finance say my father, my father say my father, my father every demonic entity every demonic friend Every demonic family standing at my gate, my gate of rising, my gate of my next level, my gate of finance, let them die by fire, let them die by fire. Open your mouth, begin to decree. Open your mouth, begin to decree. Every evil standing at my gate, at my gate of lifting, at my gate of rising, at my gate, at my gate of financial breakthrough, at my gate of ministry. Every enemy standing at the gate of my ministry. Every enemy standing at the gate of my rising. Every enemy standing at the gate. Rekutata, rekata pata, rekata prekete, rekata prekete, rekata prekete, rekata prekete, rekata prekete, rekata prekete, rekata prekete. closed door. In your finance you've been expressing a closed door. You have come to the right place. After this conference today your door is open. I'm not hearing your amen. amen. I say your door is open. Amen. I say your door is open. Amen. I speak as a true son of Papa Joshua Gina. I, I prophesy your door open. Your door open. Your door open. Your door open. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
The Bible says, and Jacob saw angel. They were descending. They were ascending and descending. Today there is an angel for somebody here today. You are going to pray a prayer. The God of Papa Joshua Killer. Every angel that is assigned for me, you will not pass me by. You will not pass me by. Amen. That is a gift for somebody here today. I feel your angel is here with you. I feel your gift is here with you. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. After today's service. After today's service. After today's service. After, today's service, after, service, after, after, today's service, after this conference. This my conference, life will not remain the same. My life will, my not, life will not remain the same. Life that life angel that is sent to me shall not pass me by. Go put your mouth begin to decree. In Jesus, my name will pray. Amen. I stand in the office of my father. I decree and I declare. I receive. Your season of testimony has come. Amen. Your amen is looking for my trouble. Amen. Your season of testimony has come. Amen. Your season of testimony has come. Amen. Your season of testimony has come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy you are unstoppable. Amen. 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 After this conference, yes. your ministry will take a U-turn. Your finance will take a U-turn. Your marriage will take a U-turn. I declare and I declare, yes. you are lifted high. Amen. You are lifted high. Amen. You are lifted high. Amen. Every close door is open. Amen. Every close door is open. Amen. Every close door is open. Amen. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Somebody shot fire. Fire. Walk up to seven people and tell that person you will celebrate me. Atakati bahasi da barata da barata yes. Iteven ne kavara ta kante leven ina barusha sevelata. Ayanda bampre kose fina ta tilis. Sela kavi ne na barata fi ne ne mana hadi ne fi ne na kavara ta ni elege diye. Oko pane ne fi na na hani ya na mama. Just lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Rada balaga barada kavaya na na balaga na yes. As you are celebrating in this atmosphere. Just begin to put yourself together as we worship the Messiah, as we worship the Kings of Kings, as we worship the Monarch of Zion. Aya, Ele, Finai. I enter the holies of holies.
We've come to draw, to draw, to draw from you again. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Madonna. Oh! 
unto the Lord. If you are alive and you know the God of our Father has been working wonders in your life, can you shout fire? In these 17 years, the God of our Father will meet you at the point of your needs. It's offering time. Please, I'd like us to package our offerings. Do it very fast. In Deuteronomy 16, in verse 16, the B part is said, you will not appear before the Lord empty-handed. So it's an error to come before the Lord empty hand. Viewers all over the world, look at your screen, watch your screen, you see the details of how you can pay your offerings, your seeds, and all kingdom investment. If you know that God has been walking through our Father in your life, do something for the Lord. And everyone in the gallery, they win A, B, and C. Please, you remain there. There's a basket in front of you. You don't need to come down to give. And why the ones at the main entrance, you dance forward and mix it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your offerings. And let's give God praise in appreciation to this God who has been marvelous and kind to us. Father, we thank you. Lift up that offerings and just appreciate God. Thank him for his goodness and mercy. That the God of champion will meet you at the very, very point of your needs. Father, as we communicate our offerings, we ask, oh God, that you bless every hand that is given now in the name of Jesus. And whatever is the desire of any man or woman, ministry-wise or job-wise or business-wise, I ask, oh God, they will not remain the same as they came in the name of Jesus. Somebody give God a big, big praise. And let's worship God with our dancing and with our hands and with our offering. God bless you. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. Lift your voice and say, Please, I'd like us to show that God has been so good to us. This is 17 years. See the way we are standing like stick. At least it's, it's, it's not, it's not good. I'd like us to dance, come from the backside, and let's dance and appreciate this God that has made it possible for 17 years. It's worthy of our praise. Please, let's do it to God as we clap our hands in dancing. Please. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou hast lifted me above my enemy. This man are over me. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me over my enemy. Your banner over me. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou hast lifted me above my enemies. Your banner over me is love. I will exalt you, Lord. I will exalt you, Lord, for thou hast lifted me above my enemies. Above my enemies. Your banner, Your banner over me is love. I will exalt you, Lord. Your banner over me is love. Your banner over me is love. Your banner over me is 
to To a raya mama Raya mama Are you that feeling? Eat it! 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 Eat it!
Transforming in destiny shifting radiations. Her every ministration is backed up by open heavens as God comes down to inhabit the praise and worship she engineers. She is a classic example of God's ambassador on earth. She has been a blessing to us before, and we are yet again having her in our midst. She has gifted us with powerful song, Be Magnify. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome our dear sister, Esther Abu. Can you feel it? Can you see it? 
You are my rock, you are my shield. You are the giver of life and hope. You are my maker, my protector, my sustainer. You are the giver of everything. You are the one who fights my battles. You are the giver of me from shame. You are my weapon. You are my fighter, my deliverer. You said you walk in me.
Worshipper, a prolific songwriter, his heart tuned with melody and overflow with masterpiece. He has blessed us with inspiring and heartwarming songs, such as you are here. For a very first time here in Champions, he is blessing us with his sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome D. Morgan.
Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. For him alone deserve our praise. For him alone deserve our worship. And who adore all mountain before Zerubbabel. For he shall be made level. I don't know the mountain that you came here with. You have come to this mountain. For God will meet you on this mountain. Because Jesus never fails. He has never failed. And he will never fail. Because he has not failed our father. Neither our mother. The rock can be chosen when everything around me is shaken. I'll never be more glad because I put my faith in Jesus. Cause he's
let's stand up and worship the Lord. We have a lot of people outside, please. Come on, let's lift up our hands. Raise me up. You raise me up so I can stay.
Así conmigo, papá, así conmigo, así conmigo, si de This is my season for me to shine. This is my glory. This is my season for me to fly. This is my glory. This is my season. This is my glory. This is my season. This is my glory. my season for me to rise this is my glory this is my season for me to glow this is my glory this is my season this is my glory this is my season this is my glory Stone and 
set it between Mishpah and Shen and call it the name of it. Ebenezer Itato had the Lord help us. I want to hear you read it. I'm not hearing you well. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mishpah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer saying Hitato had the Lord help us. This is my season for me to shine. This is my glory. This is my season for me to fly. This is my glory. This is my season. This is my glory. This is my season. This is my glory. God is healing you. Are you hearing me? There's a kind of financial breakthrough the Lord is about to put in your hands. Are you hearing me? I'm seeing myself in Angola. I'm seeing myself in Congo. And the Lord said, I will overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn. 
six years from now, yes. there are things that is about to happen. Yes, People sure. will think you did something. Oh. Are you hearing me? You. The prophetic and the desire you desire yes, is about to manifest. Yes, As I'm yes. standing, I'm seeing three angels by you yes. now. Yes. Take, 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 take it. And this Bring is the back. supernatural here at the City of Wonders. This is the raw power of God. This is your year. Receive, receive. The God of champions in the midst of his people today. Please sit down. Thank you, Jesus. My sermon is a Beniza. Ebenezer. Who said God will not do it? Have I not said it? Will I not do it? Come, let me talk to you. You. Another prophet. <laughs> I just saw a light upon your head. Amen. And the Lord said, the season of delay is over. Amen. Who is fighting me? Every force fighting you about to let you be. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen. Well, this is your season. Amen. <sighs> All glory to the God of champions. Come, come here. Divine impartation. Come, come. No, the sister. Many a times. Can you give me another mic? Please, just give me another mic. Many a times you find yourself in, in the dream. You see, what God has spoken to you. Yes, sir. And you see the manifestations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But after some time, you find out that things are not going the way 
you have seen them in your revelation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a dimension God is about to take you to, and the enemy is fighting you strongly. But if I be a true prophet of God, there is about to be a manifestation that will change your life. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Your time has come. Amen. Now, the things God spoke to you, you have delayed too long. But this is the set time for the manifestation. Yes, sir. You will see the grace is going to increase. Yes, and these three years of delay over the manifestation, there is an help that is coming for you that is about to make you enter into that dimension. I thought they are shouting that amen. Amen. As the Somebody shout fire. Please sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah. The Please mighty move of the Spirit of God. I see a mighty wave that is going to enter your country through you. A mighty wave. And it's going to be a prophetic wave. The things the Lord has spoken to you people is about to manifest. Some people are jealous. Uh, ha, ha, ha. There is a dimension. There is a dimension. If I be a true prophet of God, that realm you are about to enter, even the things God spoke to you people that you have not seen, you are going to see yourself on a speed between 2024 and 2025 and financial breakthrough and those who left to people are coming back because the Lord said it is time there is a revival that is about to flow in your country through the both of you some people are jealous I thought they are shouting somebody shout fire and it is your season of financial breakthrough Divine impartation. Come on, come on, come on. This can only be the power of God. Please sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm just greeting you first. This is a prophetic meeting. It's not a normal one. Are you hearing me? Oh. Your time has come. There is a key of a house, I see. There is a key of a house. There is a key of a house. Oh God, oh God. Pata! Somebody thought I'm just talking here. Stand up. Pa! Pick him up. Pata! The hey, I see a new job. I see a new job. Can you get to them? What's wrong with you? Another prophetic move here at the city of wonders. And the God of Champions just bless her with a new job. Your husband is in business. Come here, come here, come here. The Lord is about to put some financial exploit on him. Oh, some people are so jealous. Some people are so jealous. They are jealous. This is the season. Those things you saw in the dream are about to manifest. Are you hearing me? The prophetic will be so heavy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She receives the divine touch. The hearts of so many are ready. Someone say, My Ebenezer. My stone of app. I'm not hearing you say, My stone of app. Maybe if you shout it well, help is coming for you. Is coming for you. Where they think you will not be helped, God is about to help you. Sit down, sit down. Come, brother, you fed the one behind, the one behind. Come, 
another be complaining too much about the delay in your ministry but if I be a prophet of God God is about to shoot you out uh, the way they are shouting they are not ready God is about to take you to a new level are you hearing me that vision you saw about the crowd is coming to pass now he said that we overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn my names are Joshua Ikila people call me Aurora Master by the oh yeah sit down sit down sit down they lock your doors but if I be a true prophet I open the door 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 I open the mighty move of God Many are ready to receive. This is not a normal meeting. It's not the kind of anniversary you come. Look, look, look at angels all around. Hey, hey. Sit down. Sit down. Where is your woman? You. Where is your woman? She left home yes. three weeks ago. Yes. She left home three weeks ago. Yes. In Kutubaya. She doesn't want to even marry anymore. There is a lot of battles, battles, battles that you cannot explain. But if I be a true prophet of God, the Lord is reconstructing your marriage. Come here, come here, stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Pa, 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 pa. Hey! The supernatural. Come, come here. You desire a dimension. Stand here. You desire a dimension. But there is a lot of battles. Yes. Your ministry would have been bigger than where it is. Look at me. There was a time the church was growing. All of a sudden, they attack it. Yes, 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 yes. He confirms the words of the man of God. There is a marine agent from the marine world that was sent to your ministry. You have been under a strong marine attack. Yes, amen. Even you, you understand. God spoke to you about yes, this. Yes, amen, 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 amen. You know that lady that woke up to you, yeah. that told you yeah. that you are not supposed to marry your wife, yeah, yeah, yeah. that your wife is not the will of God. Is it true? Is it true? There is a dimension that is about to happen. I see myself in Gabon, yes. and I'm opening the doors. Amen. I'm opening the doors. Amen. I'm opening the doors. Amen. There is a level of grace Amen. that is about to take Amen. you to another. Prophetic impartation. Ooh. This can Ooh. only be. Yes. The Lord will use you. It doesn't matter how they see it. He will use you. He will use you. Ah! Pick him up. Come here, I see a house. There is a building coming. There is a dimension you will enter. If God be God, you have to stand up, your pains are over. God said I should shift you back to so your normal dimension. You've lost it, but I bring you back. Take seven steps. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, restoration. Somebody shot fire. We 
is fighting me. Anyone holding your star, they will let you be. If you shout that amen like thunder, glory is coming now. This is your time. Now, where we read, Samuel said, He is my Ebenezer. If God does not help a man, no matter what the man tried to do, he won't go up. It's not your prayer that brings you to a place. No, no man should boast by work. If you see any man doing mighty thing, it's a man that is helped by God. The Philistines they put the Israelites under close captivity. The ark was captured, battles were everywhere. And Samuel said, It's time for us to wait upon the Lord. Why they begin to gather together, and the Philistines help that the Israelites were gathering together. There was this there was this attack there was this fierce ender whenever believers are in one accord the enemy is not happy am I communicating if there's anything the devil like is a scattered church a divided church am I talking to somebody here am I talking to somebody here you can fight somebody that God has help but you can't take his help from him am I talking to somebody here are you hearing me if the help is from God you don't need to bribe any man am I talking to somebody here I prophesy there is a divine help that is coming for you. Somebody say Ebenezer. Say it well. Say it again. So the Lord God created man and put man in the midst of the garden of Adam. Man was in the garden. A man was lonely. The loneliness is not because there is no woman. The loneliness was because there was no helper. When there is no helper, you become lonely. There is no self-made man anywhere. If you see any man who has raised up, he was helped by God. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? You might not like me, I don't care. You might not even celebrate me. But one thing I know that is upon my life. I am a man that is helped by God. <laughs> Ebenezer. Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Have you wondered? People try to destroy you. But they can't destroy you. Do you know why? You are helped. When you are helped. Nobody can destroy. So one of the assignments of the enemy is to fight your helpers. So, Mama preached this on Wednesday. The devil attacked Eve because Eve was the helper of Adam. When your helper is captured, automatically your life is introduced to curse. Many of you would have been better than where you are. The enemy is manipulating your helpers. I prophesy. Your helpers are receiving divine freedom. I classify help into two. Divine help and human help. And I want to talk about divine help. It is this help that comes from above. Luke 4 verse 18. Let's read. Follow me. Luke 4 verse 18. Follow me. Luke 4 
18. The Spirit of God is upon me because He has anointed me to proclaim, to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. See, Jesus was not afraid to say, the spirit of God is upon me. When divine help starts, it comes upon before he goes within. Look at your neighbor and say, I am anointed. I'm not hearing you well. I'm not ashamed to tell you that I am anointed. Jesus did not hide it. You see, there are certain things we do in the body of Christ. We try to trivialize the grace. When you see a man that is anointed, no matter your annoyance, he doesn't stop his anointing. I am anointed. Oh, hear me. One of the greatest disaster that can happen to you is when you are not aware that you are anointed. I carry something. And what I carry is oil. Tell your neighbor, I carry something. What I carry is oil. Am I talking to somebody here? Tell your neighbor, I carry something. The Spirit of God. When God wants to help a man, the first thing he does, he sends his work. He sends his spirit. The first entrance of the Holy Spirit, it came inside as a bread, ruach, zoe, and man became a living soul. And the devil manipulated that. In Luke, in the New Testament, we saw the Holy Ghost coming upon. What comes upon you is to change your mindset. The anointing within, which is the bread, is for longevity, inspiration. But the one that comes upon is unction to function. Follow me. See, for he has anointed me. Put that scripture. Hear me. Hear me. Pastors and leaders or politicians, you are not sent to everybody. Put that scripture. The Spirit of God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He has sent me to preach deliverance to the captive. We don't minister deliverance. We preach deliverance. Deliverance. This is a dimension that when you are teaching, people get delivered. The greatest level of deliverance, it is a deliverance through knowledge. Are you ready? Somebody shout fire. Hear me. I am not sent to everybody. If you don't accept me, it's because I'm not sent to you. I know who I am sent to. Number one, to preach to the poor. Number one, to heal the brokenhearted. Number one, to set and preach deliverance to the captain. Number four, to preach the acceptable year of God. If I am not sent to you, I know the reason why you cannot accept me. Everybody must not accept you. The people that are commanded to accept you are the people you are sent to. Lord, help me. May I not go to people I'm not sent to. If you are not sent to people and you try to send yourself, they will kill you. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I've heard people say, I'm gone. Me. I'm choosing. I'm not called. 
Because many are called, but few are choosing. I'm not called, I'm choosing. Because there are too many people called and their color has been taken away from them. But there are men that are choosing. Yeah, a choosing generation. Peculiar people. A royal priesthood. You have been set aside to show the wonders of God. I am anointed. Sit down. I know. I know. I don't need the prophet to tell me I am anointed. Tell your neighbor, I am anointed. You are not hearing me. One of the greatest way to receive help is to be aware that you are helped. Abada, abada, abada. Shukaparandi. I prophesy. Help is coming for you. I say help is coming for you. May your help us not be under manipulation. Everyone trying to manipulate your help us, I silence them. <laughs> I thought you were shouting that one well. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. In Psalm 101, verse 1, it said, And the Lord said to my Lord, It's a level of grace. I prophesy that spirit of lordship that puts you above every other person. Receive that dimension now. When God helps you, men will think that you did something. If you have not gotten to a level where people sit down and begin to ask, how manage? Where did he enter? How did he get here? Something has been done. He did A, B, C, D. Then you are not helped. When God helps you, even the help will begin to ask, how did he got the help? still hearing the voice of God. Sit down. If she heard the voice of God, God asked Adam, why are you ashamed? What is going on? Adam replied God. Now listen to me, listen to me. That's a man that is helped. Despite his sin, he was able to still hear. and you are not hearing God's voice something is wrong with you Adam fell Adam heard the voice of God and you you are standing with the blood of Jesus washed by the blood and you are not hearing the voice something is wrong hello excuse me Satan Lucifer the serpent heard the curse that was proclaimed against it and God said you will crawl with your belly. It means Satan heard. If Lucifer can hear God's voice, you are better than Lucifer. Sit down. Sit down. See a man that is here. God told Cain, a vagabond and a fugitive shall that be. And Cain went to the Lord and said, It shall come to pass that when men see me, that men will search to kill me. And the Lord answered and placed a mark upon Cain, lest no man should touch Cain. He now said, Anybody that touched Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Cain was a man helped by 
by God. When God help you, even in your falling state, he will put protection. Someone say help. Someone say help. Say it again, help. Your help is coming now. 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 If that amen is louder, 148 of you ascend the dimension. On the gallery everywhere, enter a new level. Every door that is closed, I command them open. Anyone fighting you shall die your dead. I said they shall die your dead. If that amen is louder, I see somebody coming out. I see somebody coming out. Shout that fire like thunder. Help is coming. I say help is coming. I say help is coming. I see help coming for you. Sit down. Can I go further? I'm just laying the foundation for today. Now hear me. Hear me very well. If God will help you as a spirit, he will need a man. Help does not come without a man. Follow me now. Follow me. It's very important. Please, if there's anything, don't miss this part. I know there is a divine help. But every divine help cannot come without human assistance. Joel 2.28 So in the latter days shall I pour out my spirit eh? upon what? Upon all God will never pour out his spirit upon all spirits. He will pour it upon all flesh. God will never pour out his spirit upon all spirits. His spirit will be poured upon all flesh. There is a marriage between the flesh and the spirit. The spirit cannot function without the flesh. The intercourse of the spirit and the flesh is divine help. So without a human body, help is inconsistent. Help is inconsequential. So God, whenever he wants to help a man, his spirit will partner with the flesh of a man in order to raise a man. relationship breaker you will die a labor as much as you can pray if you don't value relationship you cannot be helped if God can use a donkey to save a prophet he can use anything to help you What is spirituality? Spirituality is the partner of the spirit of God. Partnership of the spirit of God with the flesh of man to bring reality in the visible world. Yeah. I was reading through the Bible and I thought Jesus was trying to emphasize more about his spirit than his physicality. I stumbled into something and then we're going to pray. And tomorrow I'll go, I'm going to elaborate. I saw that every time Jesus talked, he would say, the son of man has no place. All Jesus was trying to do was to convince everybody that he was a son of man and not a spirit. I will explain. All along, he was trying to make them understand that I am a spirit that came from heaven. But here on earth, I am a man. The son of man have no place to lay his head. Oh, maybe you don't understand. 
Let me move forward. Let me move forward. Jesus died and resurrected and he entered into the room where the disciples were gathered. Hear me. And it means he passed through the walls. Now watch this. When they saw him, they were afraid. But he spent time to convince them that the person you saw is not a spirit. He said, touch me. And he said in the scripture, can a spirit have born? So all he was trying to do was to convince them that spirituality has no place of deficiency of the manifestation of the flesh. Touch my hand. He was convincing them to feel him as a man, not as a spirit. Some sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Somebody who passed through all along. We have been taught that spirituality is when you are boneless. You can feel it. But that's not what Jesus meant. Jesus was trying to say. There is a dimension of my spirit that you can carry. That when you carry it, you can have bone and flesh and pass through the walls. Oh, you are not getting me. In Caparandes, no wonder Philip disappear and reappear until we begin to understand that until the flesh modify the spirit and the spirit enter the flesh and the flesh enter the spirit, then there are certain signs and wonders we will never see. One day, the disciples were passing by on the boat, sailing, and Jesus was in the other side. And Jesus started walking on the sea. And there was a boisterous wind. This is what blew my mind. You need to read the scriptures. I will, I will, when you go home. And then, Jesus started walking. And when they saw him, they thought they had seen a spirit. And he did not convince them that he was a spirit. He had to convince them that it's the same Jesus, the son of man that was walking on the sea. When Peter said, Lord, if you are not a spirit and you are mad, should I come? He said, come, you can operate in this dimension. Can I prophesy? The Lord is about to help a man. man oh lord help this man oh lord help this man sit down please <laughs> all through he was convincing them that you know we have been preaching spirituality and we have been removing the flesh now, you must distinguish between the flesh and carnality. Carnality is the sinful satisfaction of the flesh. The flesh is not carnal. The flesh is your visa on earth. And so you must understand that you don't have to think because you are in the flesh. We are made to feel that a man cannot help you. Hear me? All true. Jesus was trying to prove one thing. That I am a son of man. And miracles don't happen in the spirit. They happen in the realm of man. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get to heaven, there is no miracle. When you get to heaven, there is no deliverance service. When you get to heaven, there is no healing service. When you get to heaven, creepers don't walk in heaven because they don't need it. When you get to heaven, there are no, there are no fasting and prayer. Prophecy will end here. So hear me, all the miraculous and the supernatural manifestations 
manifestation. They are for man on the realm of the earth for man to manifest. So if a man does not understand the technology of how to carry things in the spirit to the physical, you will not be heard. I prophesy. God is about to help a man. Jump up and say, I am help. God is helping some men here. Shut fire. Shut fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, Lord, help me. The church is too spiritual that we are not studying how to operate in the physical realm by the aid of the spiritual God. Hear me. All through, he was trying to convince them that I am the man, Jesus. That was why when you get to his tomb, he took his body. He took the body. He took the body. The most valuable part of your destiny is not just only your spirit. Because the spirit of God does not rest on spirit. It rests on flesh. So if your flesh doesn't carry the spirit, you are finished. God doesn't anoint spirit. He anoints the flesh. And the reason why he anoints the flesh is that when the anointing falls on the flesh, it makes the desire of the spirit to be visible. See now, we are winning in the spirit that the world is not seeing what we are doing physically. When I hear somebody say, I pray for 24 hours, great win, but what is the result of 24 hours physically? When I hear somebody say, I fast for 20 days, that's great exploit. But I ask, what is the result of fasting for 20 days in the physical realm? know their God they shall be strong and do exploit not in the spirit in the flesh how can they hear until there is a preacher ladies and gentlemen the Holy Ghost is a powerful preacher but yet he needs Joshua Iginla to partner in order to preach the gospel I am not useless I am important as powerful as Jesus is. <laughs> he needed to come to the earth as a spirit being. El Shaddai, Alpha and Omega. He has to partner with the woman and stay in the womb of the woman to come to the earth. Mary carried him for nine months so that there would be visibility. If your spirit does not have intercourse with your flesh, you will not be relevant. I am tired of believers seeing money in the spirit and it's not manifesting in the flesh. I am tired of believers seeing miracles in the dream and it's not manifesting in the physical. The Bible said in Genesis 18:1 that in the heat of the afternoon, Abraham was sitting down under a tree in the plain of the afternoon. And the Bible said that the Lord appeared unto him. Ladies and gentlemen, they have told you that spirits don't eat, but I saw spirits eat here. The Bible said, and Abraham killed a fat calf, and the Lord sat down and eat here with Abraham. I prophesy you are about to see manifestation. Hey! Hey! I am anointed. I carry oil on my head. I carry oil on my head. I carry oil on my head. 
my oil is not in the spirit. It landed on my flesh. There shall be manifestation. There shall be performance. Sit down, please. The devil is fighting the church. He is okay when we share powerful revelation and nobody see it. The devil like it when we talk about how God is big, but in the church he looks small. One of the reasons why prophetic ministry is under attack, men don't want to see manifestation. There are too many eloquent preachers talking about how great God is, but they only see the greatness of God in their eloquency and in their dreams. If there is anything the devil is afraid of is Roman 8 verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creator awaited the manifestation of the souls. They are afraid. They don't want you to manifest. In less than 24 hours, Ebenezer, you manifest. Hey! Lift up your leg and shut fire. Is coming. Help is coming. Shout it like thunder. Help is coming. I see help coming. I see help coming. I see help coming. Is man that thou art mindful of that thou have made him a little lower than Elohim? God is thinking about you because you are too important. The only reason that Lucifer came in the garden of Adam against man, he saw God using dust and put life in dust and the dust begin to manifest the bible says even the angels in heaven they learn from the church the manifold wisdom of god's grace that why should man fear and man sin and grace is made available that when you fall into sin the blood speak for you when angels sin there is no mercy that is why angels are jealous of men because there's something about you I can preach it well. I prophesy. Grace is about to speak for you. Sit down. There are two types of fallen angels. Lucifer and his angels. That we saw. That deceived man in the garden of Eden. He was not too violent. You need to understand this very well. You will never see where Lucifer first Eve to eat. Mm. Luciferic manifestation. An anointed cherub is an epitome of sensual manipulative wisdom. Now the serpent was more subtle among all the animals that God had created. That's why you see, when Eve ate the fruit, it was under manipulation. The greatest level of witchcraft is not when people confront you and fight you. It's when people plan software of manipulation through ideas. They make you hate your pastor. They make you hate prophets. They say, don't mind them, their hands are not clean. It's witchcraft. Any pastor you see, Talking against another pastor, have a witchcraft spirit. A witchcraft spirit is a manipulative spirit that looks innocent but is suggesting manipulation. They tell you we are better. We don't prophesy. We don't preach like them. And they ask, which kind of person is this? Here, they are operating under witchcraft anointing. There are five types of prophet. Number one, born prophet. These are prophets that are born from the womb. From the womb of your mother have I anointed you. A prophet. 
So when somebody asks you, when were you born again? Ask the person, when did Jeremiah give his life to Christ? In the womb of his mother. In fact, an ordination service was done in the womb of his mother. The reason why you don't understand prophetic is because you are not called a prophet. These are born prophet. These are men God carry. Pakandekapaya. The wise men, they saw the star of Jesus Christ. The man has not landed. A sitting president was against Jesus. It became political. Number two, called prophet. These ones are called. That's why you get in Ephesians 4.17. Some are called. Called. Called pastors. All these ones are called. Number three, a silenced prophet. You don't know that they are prophet, but they are prophet. Example of them is Abraham. He never prophesied. Never said anything. But God appeared before Abimelech. Ain't you afraid to touch the wife of my prophet? This prophet, they don't look like prophet. They don't bear the title of prophet. But when there's battle, God comes to say, this is my prophet. The fourth one, a mysterious prophet. The word mysterious, mystero, they are mysterious, strange. The Bible says in the book of Kings 17, and Elijah the despite, he landed and started prophesying and trouble they have. We did not know his spiritual father. We did not know where he came from. We just saw him. We don't even know his father and mother. There were so many things that were strange about Elijah. He was a strange prophet. And when it was time for him to go, he knew the airport that he is going to ascend to heaven. five minutes. Another example of the strange prophet was when John, they came to meet Jesus and they said, we saw one in your name casting out demons. And Jesus said to, the, to them, if he's not against us, leave him. They are for us. Jesus was on earth. These disciples, they did not come to Jesus' ministry, but they were using Jesus' name. All of us don't need to belong to your clique. We don't need to belong to your clique. That you see us do what we do is because we are mysterious. God does not want you to stop us. Because if you know where we are coming from, you will hinder us. This is 17 years of Champions Royal Assembly. 27 years of this ministry from pet prevailing evangelical team to open overcomers prevailing evangelical ministry 27 years of church work 34 years of being a prophet <laughs> I'm a man helped by God if you are under this commission you are still doubting it's because I am not sent to you they that must go, must go. And they that must come, must come. If you're a spiritual son, God has called you to go and start. You don't need to be angry. You don't need to be afraid. Come and we anoint you. As long as you are going to do God's work, I will release you to go and do it. I'm telling you very seriously serious. I'm tired of carrying too many leke leke around me. a man helped by God. No man can 
shall lay claim on me because he helped me. He brought me out of a merry clay. Are you not hearing my name? My name is Igila Igitolor Pedro do Tite Furae. Ala Tusia Kapa, he Pariada. I am the man that the Lord has given me. We are made for signs and wonders. The way you are sitting down, you are looking for my trouble. Jump up and shut fire. Help is coming for you. Help is coming for you. I see angels of help coming for you. Hey! Hey! Help is coming. 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 You will not know how you get there. Help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming. Sit down. When God begin to help you, everybody might not understand you. If they understand you, you have not been helped. Ah, 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 ah. This thing, me, oh, I'm not too sharp. Oh, I'm not intelligent like you, but I am helped by God. trust in chariot some trust in horses but we remember the name of the lord our god for the name of the lord is a strong tower that when the righteous run in they in they are saved champion Ebenezer. Ebenezer. out and pray. Yeah, 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 yeah
is true. God is about to put children in your hands. Amen. Amen. Come here. Come here. The God of champions is blessing him with children. I see twins. Hallelujah. Me 15 minutes I will release you. Tomorrow I will prophesy. I see twins. Amen. They have loved you too much. Come on. Even the ministry. The ministry is not growing. It's not growing. But children are coming. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. All glory to the God of champions. He has just been thank blessed you. with thank children. You. Thank you. Thank you. Barrenness is over. As declared by the prophets of God. God is giving you boys, 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 boys. Ah, they are jealous. They are jealous. This is a prophetic Jesus. moment at the city Jesus. of wonders. Thank you, Jesus. Young man, you, you. There's too much battle. Yes, daddy. Yes. You've gone through a lot. Daddy, that's it. You feel depressed. Yes, daddy, exactly. He confirms the words of the exactly, man of God. Daddy. Sometimes you feel like quitting ministry. Yeah, I'm just say I want to I want to just die. The so woman you understand. started your journey with. Yes. They attacked her. Yes, sir. Yes. God is about to change the story. Amen. You will not bury anybody again. Amen. Amen. You've gone through a lot of tears. Yes, daddy. They attacked my son and my wife. They admit them for hospital before I come here. Come here, come. The God of champions is about to bring a divine change in his life. Thank you. Thank you. Come, come. Take this away from me. Thank you, Lord. This. You. What happened between you and your woman? My wife. We you separated. We separated. Immediately after the separation, she went blind. It is true. She went blind. Yes, yes. She's blind now. Yes. And you are depressed. Yes. You don't even understand. Yes. Because the church is not growing. Yes. The church is not growing. Where are you from? I'm from Uganda. From Uganda. Kampala. God 
revealed me to you. Yeah. I told you to come here. Yeah, 2020. This is the supernatural. The mind of God ministers to him. They think, some of you that are close to your father, you think you know me. You don't know me. If you know me, you will get the same result I have. As long as you are not able to replicate what I have done, it's because you don't know the things I know. It's not calling name and prophesying. There is a power that makes it happen. The most stupid thing you can ever do is to be like the sons of the prophet who knew that God was about to take Elijah. And they thought it is knowing how to prophesy that makes it happen. But Elijah knew that you can know it and yet not have the power. Being accurate with that power back in it, you can be an accurate failure. testimony coming for you my daughter you've cried too much and the Lord is changing the story ah. <laughs> somebody shot fire the way these people are jealous jealous you want to go into that dimension son come come they want behind come <laughs> should I stop here Likupara, come here, come closer. It's time for grace. Another supernatural. This is a prophetic impartation. Bring him here. He's under the power of the Holy Ghost. The supernatural. The Roro have not dropped. It's all. Mm. The way you are doing it, if, you, if the Roro not drop, what will happen? The thing is intoxicating. <laughs> he cannot hold himself. There is a trumpet on your head. God is about to announce you. Prophesy an announcement of glory in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, "Is fighting your battle? Come here, come here. He will overturn. It's time for serious glory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bring him, bring him here. The God oh, of sh champions. Da, 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 da. Somebody shut fire. Shut fire." There is a speed that is coming for you people. Oh God. Speed. Somebody shout speed. They have covered you too much. But I announce her that that veil is removed. Come here. Every veil they used to cover you. I remove it. I remove it. Somebody shout fire. If that fire is louder, something is happening. They almost killed you. And you think it's ordinary. Papa, it's true. You would have died that day. Oh. It was a celebration in the Kovu. That accident was not normal. Papa, it's true. Papa, it's true. The motor somersaulted. Papa, it's true. Three times. You hit your head. 
Papa, it's true. Hit your head. Yes. Hit your head. Yes, Papa. You felt you are out of this earth. It's a battle. Yes. I want to return the arrow back to center. Papa! Anyone that say you will die, they will die your death. Papa! I thought they are shouting that amen well. They will die your death. The way the accident happened, you cannot explain. You, they took you to one hospital, they rejected you. Because the doctor said, that you are going to die. I want to kill that witch. Any witch assigned to your life, I assign right now angels. They will die your death. Hey! You shall not die. You shall not die. Can I speak to you? Yeah, Papa. You have three girls. You want boys. Yes. And I'm seeing two boys coming to you now. Twins. 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 Yes. God of champions has just blessed him with two boys. All glory to God. There is a dimension of power that you are going to enter. Yes, David. It's going to be big, 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 big. This is the move Come of God. Here. God is about to use you in better. I see a grace. I see a grace. The little thing you do is about to turn to pregnant. Bring him here. Liko parante tata, iko parata tata, liku suka pata, iga basa tabaya, liku sita. Sida. An unusual expression Maybe of power. Maybe I should round up here. Maybe I should round up here. Maybe I should round up here. They have loved you too much, yes, sir. but hear me now. Yes, sir. God is about to put a song. Some of you don't know how to celebrate prophecy. That's why it's not coming to you. It's like the brethren from America understand how to connect. Ah, you are too familiar. That's why you are not getting it. Hey! 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 Somebody shot fire. Another fire. Shut that fire like thunder. Still in the prophetic atmosphere. Who is fighting me? Let me give myself. I think I need to release you this night. God has remembered you. One of the worst things you can ever do is to be around the anointing and think you can predict it. This is what happened to Lucifer. He thought he has known God finished. So imagine that Yeye man. He now think he can overthrow El Shaddai. When you begin to think against El Shaddai, you shall die. Hey! Let me release you for tomorrow. Somebody said, Miracle! Help is coming! working at all. 11 years. It's a witchcraft spell. Maybe I should close with you and pray for you. There's this brother for 11 years. They have attacked you. They have attacked you. Okay, stand up because I will release you now. Are you blessed? Today is just the beginning. Tomorrow is going to be very heavy. Yeah. 
So for 11 years now. Yes. Eh? Yes, Papa. He confirms the word of the man of God. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. You will be restored. Amen. Today. Today. Amen. Because last Wait. Don't tell me. If you tell me now. You tell me that I'm not a prophet. You don't need to tell me. Let me tell you. There was a lady you were supposed to get married to. Yes, sir. And both of you were in the same house 11 years ago. Yes, man of God. Then you had a dream. Yes, man of God. When you have this dream, I want to tell you what happened. It's not just a dream. In that very room where you are, there was a council of witchcraft that came together with that lady. So they were holding meeting. You were dreaming in that very dream. You saw a cat. Yes, man of God. When you saw a cat, that was when the operation started with you. When you were trying to hit the cat, it turned to a fowl. Yes, man of God. Carrying five children going. Yes, man of God. That was the last day your manhood functioned. Those five children of the fowl is the five children you are supposed to have on earth. Yes, man of God. I don't want to go into the other things. But hear me. It's a witchcraft battle. They've taken everything that makes you a man. It's not just only your manhood, your star, your glory. But as I pray for you now, yes, man of God. there is a restoration. Amen. When you are shouting that amen. The God of champions. In the name of Jesus. Restore. Give Jesus a clap of faith. All glory to the God of champions. Stretch your hands towards me. Receive help. From every angle, I release help for you. I release. Stand up, everybody. I say, I release help for you. If that amen is louder, help is coming. I thought you were shouting that amen well. Amen. I command those that are close to be open. Amen. Those that are close to be open. Amen. Please don't sit down. I said those that are close to be open. Amen. This year, before the end of this November, I see help coming from everywhere. Amen. If you shout that amen well, the help has started tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There are two of you with kidney issue. You are healed now. Amen. You are healed now. Amen. Every delay is over now. Amen. Please put your two hands on your head. Today is just the first day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anyone with strange power that they have tied your glory down, I hear freedom. Amen. Freedom. Amen. Freedom. Amen. Freedom. Amen. If that amen is louder, a breakthrough has just started now. Amen. Shout that fire like thunder. Fire. Finally, help you never solicited for. Help you never begged for. Is coming your way. Amen. I say it's coming your way. Amen. You are going to shout fire seven times. And when you shout it, you sit down and you say, My help comment. And we go for today. Tomorrow, 7 a.m. We are here. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, go. Fire. Fire. Congratulations. See you tomorrow.
is my glory. This is my season for me to glow. This is my glory. This is my season. This is my glory. This is my season.